What's up, everybody? Editor Jay back here for box number five of the Jumpstart Crack a Lackin' with Brandon and Brandon. Two different Brandon from two different places. Today, we're going to talk about the Banhammer on Monocrypt uh, Jeweled Lotus Dockside Extortionist and the other one that's really who cares. Might be an opinion, might be facts, and might be opinions that people think are facts that are merely opinions. There might be facts that are facts, and who knows? Two, three, four, four, six. Twelve. I think we'll start with Brandon. It's a joke because there's two of them. I think I'll start with got a load and we'll put you right next to Unholy Rams box right here. Got a load of page. Anyway, so <laughs> Jeweled Lotus Monocrypt open with teeth dockside extortionist elves elvish war master were all banned by the rules commission of the commander format which to my understanding is casual and sure if you play it at your lgs they may either impose the rules or not, Tezzeret, and that could be problematic. Or, you know, some LGSs are just like, it's casual, F the rules, and that's fine too. Definitely in your at-home squads or pools or pods, or whatever the hell you call it, your group, you know, I'm sure it's fine that you play your decks as is. Blake, Emil, seen that bunch already. We're not going to really dilly-dally with all this. We've seen it, most of it. Uh, anyway, so that's Commander. As far as I'm concerned, I have one Commander deck that I have built that is not meta. It is not a deck that's ever been built. I just come up with ideas and build them. Scrying, Gin of Wishes, and Kenosis. Hoping for a Ristic study in that. Did not get it. Uh, so, at best, I'm barely considered casual as far as Commander goes. Doesn't really matter much to me on that regard as far as playing. Eldrazi, there's the World Breaker, and the Edbringer. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, you know, with that said, sure, it doesn't bother me much. I never cared anyway. It's also already banned in all the other formats, probably. Zombie, there's Liliana. So, the other thing is collectability, value, etc. I must digress. I must, let me come back. The Rules Commission... Isn't as guy, it's a committee. It's not exactly Watsy. However, the real problem is Teferi's Puzzle Box and Psychosis Crawler is they've been discussing the ban with Watsy for a while. And the problem is that they've continued to push the Commander product. Uh, and everybody's been hunting for Commander Masters 25 and Commander Legends have been just buying the product to find. Yeah, Goliath, Nutuku, 
to find the fabled jeweled lotus monocrypt etc the monocrypts from ixalan you know what i mean like people have been buying the hell out of that product to get those chase cards and they've been talking about it for a long time which means that watsi knew they were going to get banned and still push the product which basically means they robbed everybody and then devalued the, the cards by banning them and that that there lies the problem for collectors cruel dead presence and i get it that a lot of people are mad about that of course the devil's advocate says you know as far as playing goes magic is a game and i get that i get that a lot of people take this game very seriously i take it seriously but you know not to the point that I'm ever going to be in a tournament, probably. Insects again, which is Zask. Not great. Um, you know, we play... We usually do drafts at the LGS on occasion. Not like every release, but, you know, every few releases. We'll go and do that. Demons. This caught the ped, and we'll call it a day. Values will be here, Brandon. I don't believe you're done yet. So I'm just going to leave that and get on to Unholy Ram. Uh, where was I? So, you know, like, I get the collectors are mad because they just had the roll, you know, the buzzwords rug pulled out from under them. And that's messed up. Uh, but like any investment, gross. Oh, nice massacre worm. Like any investment, nothing is guaranteed in Magic the Gathering. Ultimately, the only way to keep value is to add a card to the reserve list, which, you know, cards like Jeweled Lotus and Monocrypt. It's probably something Watsi wants to explore to make people happy. Archon of Justice. Maybe get, you know, maybe reconnect with some of their players because this is Unholy's last time stuff. Uh, that would make people happy if you reserve list the Jewel Lotus and Monocrypt and Dark Knight Extortionist because then they could never be reprinted again and the value of those collected cards that people paid thousands of dollars for will go back up isamaru mikiko so i guess we just you know we'll have to wait and see on that um but who knows what they'll do but that is probably the only way if the band if the band sticks to make people happy heuristic study no alondra sure you know and that's what they're gonna have to do my personal take on it though is still i mean guy and i are the most casual players in the group probably uh, Felidar and Tro. By the time you see this, Dave has probably dropped his video about it. I, I don't know which direction he's going to go in. I, I mean, today, September 24th, he definitely texted me about it. Um, I, I did have a few things to say, so I don't know what his final decision is as of right now. Priest of the Blood, right? Skurstag High Priest. Um, the patrons are aware of what could happen and what MTG Attitude will do about it as an entity. And all I can say is it will continue in some form until said time that 
the desired results are reached. I don't know. And if they never are, I couldn't tell you what's going to happen. Isu and Merit, I, I don't know what's going to happen. As of right now, I have no idea. You'll have to wait for Dave, which you probably already know. We've already probably seen it at this point. Uh, with that said, personally, it's just... <laughs> I feel bad for you guys. I do. I mean, from an investor collector standpoint, that really, really sucks. But it's it's just like a stock market crash. Phyrexian Plague Lord. Like you don't know you don't know what's coming, and Wall Street already sold the stocks high. And then as the market crashes around them, they buy everything back up for what should be a recovering economy. So my take on is it is you took a risk, you speculated, treasure, Captain Lannery, and you lost. But now's the time to do what Wall Street would do. Don't rip up the card and sell it at a net loss. It's time to put it away, out of sight where you don't remember it. Or play with it, because you, you, Commander's not sanctioned by Wizards of the Coast. It is a casual format. Elves, Imperious, Perfect. And play with it, or put it away. And, you know, think about it three years or four years from now to see what WotC does. Are they going to reserve list it? Do they unban it? Is it worth 25 cents? And you're just going to unload it at this point? Because that's what it is. That's what it's come to. The decision's been made. Avenger of Zendikar. And you, you don't know what's coming around the corner. So, in my mind, this is probably one of my favorite pastimes. And I'm not going to let three cards stand in the way of building a good deck that could win termination facilitator now everybody knows that i'm incapable of winning but i'm gonna try my damnedest you know what i mean so you're not gonna let a little rain ruin a barbecue are you that's what they say in that movie it's not gonna stop you from cooking a hundred hamburgers you know what i mean I mean, yeah, it, look, it sucks so bad. It really does. They really screwed you over. But what can you do at this point? You can either... Are you going to just quit the game that you've played your whole life? Or, you know, are you going to see what other investment opportunities might come down the road? At the end of the day, maybe you can help Watsy by not buying their product, which will hurt YouTubers and your LGSs and basically all of us. It will it will hurt everybody. It'll hurt all the people who still want to play the game. And that's all I have to say. I, you do what you want. Like I'll keep going until I can't. With or without anyone else. Because why not? I love Magic the Gathering and Attitude. Smash those together. You got me and Dave and Guy. And if these guys want to take a break and join the cause, then by all means, I support that. But I still like seeing stuff get open. And I'm still looking for the case hit. So with that said, I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.